this far, today's game that we are going to be playing is trampoline golf. Simply, we're doing three rounds. Uh, the point system is, if you hit the trampoline on the full, it's one point. If you hit the trampoline and then catch your golf ball, it's two points. If you hit the can, it's three points. And if you make the can explode, you're the automatic winner. Let's go. So in the end, none of us could actually hit the can. So the winners with an equal tie of three was Steph, Caleb, and myself. Thank you. Woo! podcast thing that we've got going here um if you don't know who we are yes we are. who are we Christy? so i am christy this is macy um yeah a little bit about us we are youth leaders at spark youth mm -hmm. um at nwbc and we also have known each other for a few years we used to go to high school together which is a period of time that's rough we won't discuss it any further. <laughs> That's enough. Um, we also used to work together yes. at a cafe. Yeah, I think we had two shifts together. Yeah, but, we just yeah. we chat a box and so we we classified as we were employees. That's right. Yeah. Uh, no co co workers. That's we, it. Not employees. Yeah. Well, we were, but not anyway. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so, what else do they need to know about us? Not about it. Nothing really. That's a, that's about it. <laughs> You've got the whole picture, really. <laughs> that's the whole book. Yeah. Um. But we, as Christy said, we're leaders here at Spark Youth, yeah. and Christy and I have just felt for a little while that we want to do a little bit more. Um. We felt on our hearts that we can reach more people. Um. People that probably wouldn't get to hear, you know, the things that we talk about here at Youth. Um. At least on a regular basis. So this is kind of our little 
projects, I guess, at the moment. We're, you know, excited to see what comes out of it. But Yes, definitely. Yeah, so like Macy was saying, we've been wanting to do something to disciple and reach people and um, spread the gospel in a way that we can use our talents and me, me and myself <laughs> think we're really good at talking. Yeah, so it's a special talent. Yeah, it's like you're in our living room and you're just having yeah, a chat. Exactly so, right. Yeah. yeah. And I'll just quit while we're on topic. Um, a verse that has stuck with us. We actually, oh, okay, look, I wasn't going to talk about that. We'll go into the full story. So go, basically, go one day, me and Christy went on a walk. Anyway, we just had this whole discussion about everything that we just said, wanting to do more and, and feeling like we need to reach more people. And yeah. And we both had this um, idea, which actually stems from a verse um, about, well, I'll tell you what the verse is actually. It's Matthew 9, 12. It says, on hearing this, Jesus said, it's not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. And that's yeah. kind of basically where this all came from, is mm -hmm. the idea that, like, yes, it's all good and well, well to, you know, teach and lead like we are for, you know, kids that are willing to be here. But there's yeah. probably a lot of people that, you know, and maybe shy to come to youth maybe they don't have the opportunity to come to youth or yeah. um you know i think things online are a little bit more accessible especially mm -hmm. during these times which is something we'll jump into a bit later but yeah so that idea of um you know hospitals for the sick and, and that's something that we want not you know that's not legitimate that's not no. literal but um that's yeah. where that's where our idea and the passion for this little project came yeah. from. Yeah, so we're very excited. This is the first episode, so we're a little bit all you over the shop. Yeah, yeah. We're a little bit. Um, yeah. yeah, just bear with us, but we are very excited to yeah. see what comes of this. But yeah, yes. um, one thing that we'll just quickly talk about, I guess, before we jump into the, the discussion we're going to get into is in future episodes, we're going to try and do a couple more things um, like maybe get guest speakers, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, probably get more broader topics to, I guess, unpack further. But something that we are very passionate about, especially Chrissy and myself, um, in our small group, we've done this for a while now where we get our kids to put in questions anonymously. And mm -hmm. we've found that that really works. Yeah, because it takes the pressure off you guys and whoever else is watching, um, feeling the judgment of, oh, they can see who I am, mm -hmm. they can see what I'm worrying about. So when um, Macy came up with this idea to have a platform for you guys to put in your things anonymously mm. um yeah i think it's just a really awesome opportunity for you guys to to use that and to take advantage of that that we don't we don't know who you are like even if the questions come in and you think oh they're going to judge that question and we won't um Safe space. yeah exactly yeah. we're all on a journey together and yeah the, the questions can be really deep and very um serious oh, yeah. topics vulnerable um, and then they can also be, you know, happy topics like odd. Oh, Favourite movie. Yeah. Favourite snacks. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, it's very exciting. We're yeah. excited to get into it. Yeah, so I'll just quickly, you know, for where you guys can find that. So we're going to put a, um, <clears throat> a link in our Instagram bio for the youth, which is, is it Spark Youth? Is that just the tag, I think? On yeah, yeah, so Spark Youth on Instagram. In the bio, we're going to put a link to a Google Doc. Now, how that works is... There's literally just a box, you type in your question, it yeah. can be a one sentence, it can be a whole paragraph giving us all the details, whatever you want to do. Mm. Um, and we cannot in any way, unless we study coding or something, um, we cannot see who, who it's from. So no. there is no judgment, we can't see it. If we talk about it, we're not going to, you know, give Pull everything. Out your name. Yeah, nothing yeah. like that. Um, unless for whatever reason you want us to, but yeah, we're, it's a, all about being, um, being able to be vulnerable without fear of judgment. And, yeah. Um, anything like that. So yeah, so jump on that. Um, otherwise, you're more than welcome to leave comments and questions under this video. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so in future episodes, we're going to pick one or a handful of questions and we'll unpack those. So yeah, yeah, we're really excited to do that as well. But yeah, anyways. That summed it up pretty well. Good job, mate. Sorry for that interruption, guys, but if you want to catch the rest of that episode, uh, we're going to unpack a little bit more about how to cope with COVID, at least for this last little home stretch. So we where, where can we catch that? Christine? So if you guys want to catch that episode, which you will, you guys need to go to the same channel which you're watching this on at Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. Write it down. I'm going to say it again. Tuesday, same channel, 7.30 p.m. We'll see you there. Bye. Hey Spark Youth, Kat here. Um, I'm so excited that I get the opportunity to share God's word with you today. Um, so 
Today's topic is something that I've actually been really thinking about and reflecting on since Spark Camp this year, um, where we talked a lot about what we're consuming and how that can impact how we live our lives and um, who we are. So I know that during lockdown, for me especially, I've been spending such a long a lot of my time on social media um, to the point where it's actually kind of embarrassing when I look at my screen time statistics on my phone. Um, you know, when we're on social media, we're constantly just being bombarded with images and videos showing these little snippets of the best parts of other people's lives, you know, what they want us to see, what they want us to focus on. Um, and I know that for myself, that can really be damaging and can really affect me especially when we're in lockdowns and we are just seeing things that we wish we could be doing or we're seeing people that kind of seem to be coping better with lockdown and with what's happening than what we are Um, and I know that that has really been massive and something that I've been dealing with and so I really just hope that today that God's word would bless you and would just give you something to really reflect on and hopefully that you would be able to take something away from this um, and yeah, know that you are so loved by God. So in Matthew chapter 10, Jesus literally says to us, what is the price of two sparrows? One copper coin, but not a single sparrow can fall to the ground without your father knowing it. And the very hairs on your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are more valuable to God than a whole flock of sparrows. We are so, so valuable to God. And I think it's so easy for us to forget that. And um, we've all experienced low self-esteem at some point in our lives, I'm sure. Um, Because we live in a society that markets that, you know, in order to be successful, we have to look the right way. We have to sound the right way. We have to have the right things. Um, And these are just our earthly possessions they aren't really going to mean much in the scheme of eternity you know um all we're seeing is pictures of people who are in that small minute part of their day where they've put all their effort in to looking amazing to make it seem like their life is perfect um and it's so easy to feel inadequate and not good enough when we're focused on the world jesus knows everything about us he knows the number of hairs on our head He's created us for a specific purpose and we are so loved and known completely by our creator of the universe. When our self-esteem is centered um, around God and what he thinks about us, we can be set free from the standards of the world. You know, we are so focused, we can be so focused on ourselves that we can kind of forget that the creator of the universe has made us and has created us and that has knows every single thing about us and has created us so deliberately and specifically for a unique purpose. Um, and so I just want to read Psalm 139 because I feel like it perfectly encapsulates um, what I am saying. So Psalm 139 says, O Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my thoughts even when I'm far away. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know what I am going to say even before I say it, Lord. You go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I go down to the grave, you are there. If I ride the wings of the morning, if I dwell by the farthest oceans, even there your hand will guide me and your strength will support me. I could ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night. But even in the darkness, I cannot hide from you. To you, the night shines as bright as day. Darkness and light are the same to you. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvellous. How well I know it. 
You watched me when I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God. They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. And when I wake up, you are still with me. O oh God, if you, oh, if you would destroy the wicked, get out of my life, you murderers. The, they blaspheme you. Your enemies misuse your name. O oh Lord, shouldn't I hate those who hate you? Shouldn't I despise those who oppose you? Yes, I hate them with total hatred. For your enemies are my enemies. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. This psalm is literally telling us that God has created us for such a unique and specific purpose. None of us are a mistake. None of us are inadequate. None of us are better than anyone else. God has created us all specifically. And it's so easy when we live in the world to forget that, especially when, you know, we're in lockdown and there's really not much to do. It's so easy to just get on your phone and just sit and scroll through Instagram or Facebook or TikTok or whatever and just see other people living these seemingly perfect lives. And it's so easy to forget that that's not real and nobody else is better than us. We are just so loved and are so cared for. And yeah, it just really is so important that even when things seem to not be going well, that you are loved and you are cared for. So my challenge for you, Spark Youth, is that I would like you to pick one type of social media, whichever one you want, whichever one you spend the most time on. And I want you to go through the people that you follow or that you are friends with. And I want you to go through and delete anyone that doesn't bring you joy. Delete anyone that doesn't impact you positively. If there's anyone on your social media that makes you feel less than, if there's anyone that makes you question who you are or your purpose or that really brings you down, then delete them and really just focus on following people that bring you joy because we spend so much time on social media and it's so important that that is feeding us positively. There are so many positive things that can come from social media, but we're not going to get them if we're following the wrong kinds of people. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's great to spend time on social media, but that may fill our time and fill the boredom, but it's not going to fill our souls. The only thing that can do that is God's word. So, yeah, I really challenge you to get on social media and have a go deleting people that don't bring you joy or that impact you in a negative way. So thank you for listening. I really hope that God's word has impacted you in some way and that, yeah, you really reflect on how you're spending time in lockdown and how you can grow closer to God. I'm just going to finish in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for everyone at Spark Youth, Lord. I thank you that um, everyone can still come together and hear your word and celebrate you, Lord. And I just pray that during this lockdown, that or you would touch the hearts of every single youth that's listening, Lord. I pray that you would um, guide them and direct them, Lord, to the types of people that they should be following on social media and the ways that they can grow closer to you doing that, Lord. And I just pray that, yeah, you would really guide them and just pull on their hearts, Lord, to be closer to you and to spend their time on things that are going to bring you glory and that are going to fill their fill them up and that they would each know their purpose and know that they are so uniquely and perfectly made, Lord, and that you love them more than they could ever imagine. Amen.
shadows can't deny Your name cannot be overcome Your name is a light forever lifted high Your name cannot be overcome Jesus, Jesus darkness tremble Jesus Jesus silence fear Jesus Jesus you make the darkness tremble